Hey out there people, Nick Cicada coming in hot. Given that I'm in the business of tape production, both VHS and compact cassette, I find that having a lot of specialized equipment can oftentimes be really helpful. Today, I'm going to break down one of the most important pieces of equipment in my arsenal, that being this nifty little tape duplicator here. I got this tape duplicator is a really crazy story. Basically there was a point where I wanted to stock up on blank cassette tapes and blank VHS tapes so I went on some website online where people will just give out things for free that they don't want anymore and one guy was like I have a bunch of old cassette tapes and VHS tapes and you can come down and get them but then he was like hey you can have this duplicator too he was like, I have this duplicator down in the basement. You want this duplicator? And I was like, huh, I've never had a duplicator before. Sure, I'll have a duplicator. Why the heck not? And of course, you've seen this piece of equipment in the last Hypnagogic Archive video, Ellis. Um, it was a very nice prop because this is the kind of equipment that not a lot of people these days tend to recognize. It's a little obscure. It's kind of an obscure type tape machine. It's very different from a normal tape deck in design. And it comes with this nice little dust cover here, which is an absolute must have uh, in this house because uh, it's very dusty in here. But this keeps uh, all the dust out. And especially, obviously, because unlike a normal tape deck, the the spot over the cassette mechanisms, it doesn't close. So unlike a normal tape deck where the plastic housing keeps dust out, um, here the tape housings are just out in the open, so you really gotta use this cover if you want to keep it safe and not scratchy and keep it in good quality. Now, as you can see here, this is some really heavy duty shit, some really heavy duty equipment. We got the third prong on here, so you know that this appliance takes a heck of a lot of energy and a lot of electricity, but in effect what this is, is a bona fide tape factory. This is a professional grade tape duplicator. Telex ACC 4000. Now oddly enough, I don't use the duplicator that much. When I'm actually copying tapes, I use my tape deck because then I can copy the tape in real time and I find that the audio is much higher quality, which is kind of necessary if you're putting out an album, you know, and you want it to sound good. I found that whenever I copy a tape using this duplicator, the copies will have kind of low quality grainy sound. I'm not sure if there's an option where you can like choose a slower recording so it sounds like good. I'll have to look up like the, the manual of this eventually, I think. But this is just some very nice, high quality, heavy duty shit that, you know, back in the day would easily be in every office. And you'd really want this. And here you have a you have a button on the back that says copy and cleaning. So the machine can kind of uh, clean itself. Here's a view of all the heads. I'm um, just from just from this perspective, or no wait, these aren't the heads, the heads are, I think, up top here. Yeah, the heads are like, on the top. It's a very interesting way you put the tapes in. But this is just a fascinating, gosh dang, appliance, and really a, a cool model. I would definitely recommend this, I mean, obviously it's really expensive if you uh, buy it online or whatever because it's really heavy-duty equipment but like I said whenever you go in for one of those like free deals or whatever and you just kind of border it out with people who you know have a shit ton of blank VHS and cassettes stocked up from years and years that they don't want anymore and you're willing to take it off their hands for free and instead of just throwing it away you do something productive and useful and cool with it I mean, of course, they're going to say yes, and uh, it's amazing what you can get for free, quite honestly, the kind of equipment you can just get completely for free. The one downside to this duplicator is that it is not portable. Uh, when I brought it home that day, it was very hard to log on to the bus and show my transfer to the driver, and this is not like my tape deck. My tape deck is like 
the weight of a laptop, essentially. It's crazy light, whereas this duplicator is, like, really heavy. Whatever is in here is some professional-grade machinery, which isn't to say my tape deck isn't high-grade. It's just a much simpler mechanism in there. Um, but this has, like, you know, three copiers. This hole is the original. You put the original here, then you put the three copies in each of these holes, and then you press start. And I've seen this baby in action, and it is absolutely just, like, cool to see this thing run through. But the real point, like I said, is that this is not a portable machine, so you want just to be able to set it up like on a desk or something so it's ready to go and you don't have to move it around all that much. It's definitely not like worth taking around really. It's just, uh, you know, the kind of appliance that like a, like a toaster or whatever should just kind of sit there with its dust cover. Aside from that, as I said, the sound quality isn't very good, or at least I haven't figured out how to get really good high-definition sound quality out of this yet. If I ever do make a new video and kind of go, kind of break down the, the intricacies of it, maybe I'll do a tape tips on it, like various strategies uh, with the Telex ACC 4000 duplicator. But the point is the sound isn't very good, but there are some uses for this. Like for instance, if you have a ton of, a shit ton of blank cassettes and you don't want to have to wait in real time, 45 minutes per side or whatever to copy them, and let's say it's not a musical album, let, let's say you've got like a book on tape or something where it's just speech and it doesn't really matter if it's kind of grainy, it, it doesn't need to be the highest quality sound, you know, you're just like reading a story or something, or say you've made an audio zine, those are popular. They're like the equivalent of, uh, you know, uh, print zines, but they're like on tape. So you have like random sounds, random interviews, you know, random stuff. Um, they, they function on the same kind of spontaneity that print zines operate on. If you have an audio zine, you might want to use something like this for kind of a rougher DIY type sound instead of a professionally recorded tape deck sound. If you want to make a tape that doesn't sound that good, like if you want to make a cool, mysterious lo-fi recording or something, this is absolutely the machine for you. This is absolutely the right apparatus here because this can create a really cool, like, lo-fi type sound. It's not very well mastered. I think this was used initially just for, like, like I said, an office setting. Like, you just, like if you had a file or something and your secretary would read it or you dictate it to your secretary um, you could like put the original here copy 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 and it was mostly for speech in that regard I don't think this was ever used as like recording equipment in a musical setting in a professional setting this was used like a fax machine per se or some kind of office equipment Nonetheless, this is just some great, great equipment, and uh, I really like it. I really like the Telex duplicator, and I think it was a very cool prop in um, Hypnogag Archive, and uh, I do use it occasionally, I do, um, if I have, like, stories on tape or something. I should probably record some of my uh, sci-fi stories onto tape. That, that's what I could use this for. Because you don't need the highest audio quality, you just need to be able to understand the words, which you can. But, above all else, don't forget the dust cover. That's the most important bit. Keep it covered up, especially if your house is dusty. But even if not, if it comes with a dust cover, you should definitely use it. Because it keeps it nice and free from all the dust. There's already like a layer of dust that's accumulated on here over the past few weeks. Anyway, yeah, that's about it for the, the, the Telex ACC 4000 uh, duplicator. I just think it's a really interesting thing, and uh, I, I got it completely for free. You never know what you're going to get with tape equipment, but it's always fucking cool. Tapes are so freaking cool. And uh, to all you amateur tape hobbyists out there, I wouldn't say this is must-have equipment, but it is very cool to have, and it's an excellent conversation piece. You can really get a conversation going with uh, something this cool. So, yeah, that's the Telex.